I joined APC because the prized me correctly, an Umbra Deputy Governor. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Mr. Okeke defected to the APC a fortnight ago and was presented to President Muhammad Buhari. Now the news in detail. Nkem Okeke, an Umbra Deputy Governor, said this was not his fault that he ditched the All Progressive Grand Alliance, which brought him to power, saying, I've got devalued me all the years. I am an accidental politician. I do not believe to operate on demerits. So people who prize me off the shelf with tangible offers approach me. It is not my fault. Mr. Okeke said during a press briefing with some journalists in Auckland on Friday. The deputy governor said it was time for the Southeast politicians to open their eyes, disregard political blackmail against the all-progressive Congress APC and secure the future of their immediate families. At the moment, the fastest way the people of South East will restore their lost glories and occupy their political position is in the center of governance of a nation, is through the APC. I urge residents and people of a state to do look up, put on your thinking cap, and secure a defined future for your nuclear and extended family members now. On the November 6th governorship election in Anambra, Mr. Okeke maintained that voting APC candidate Anduba would deliver immense dividends to the people, especially with support from the federal government. Vote for Senator Anduba, the APC, and candidate for the November 6th governorship election so that the state can benefit immensely from the center. APC is a party in the center. I want us to join in affairs and be able to contribute meaningfully, he said. Mr. Okeke said he held Governor Willy Obiano, his boss, in high esteem and would not resign from APGA-led government till the end of the tenure on March 17, 2022. He said that though he has resolved to leave APGA for the APC because of a strong desire to offer services to humanity and the country, which he did not get but had wished to remain in the party till 2022 March. He maintained that for the state to experience real development and southeast in 2023, the need of the people was to join the ruling party at the center. Mr. Okeke defected to the APC a fortnight ago and was presented to President Muhammad Buhari. Wow, wow, wow. You know, the funny thing in here is anybody that defects to, from, from another party to the APC will say that they are joining it to assist it in its work to humanity. And I keep saying, what work to humanity by ye? What work to humanity? What work to humanity? What? Oh my goodness. These presents, okay, fine. We are not going to generalize. I'm not trying to generalize, but I tell you. Huh. Anyway, I tell you that these politicians, they swim or swam around like bees in search of honeys. It is not far from his statement. He said, if you want to secure the future of your family members, in quotes, that's what he said. If you want to secure, not Nigerians' future, not the state's future, the future of your nuclear and extended families, join the APC. That means people of Nigeria at this point, doom is what I see. That people go into politics now. These people will come out. I will say, oh, and that's me. They will come, elect me, and you know, I am going to make sure that the roads are constructed. I will make sure that this happen. I will make sure that there is infrastructure development as if it is not their function. As if it is not a function of the government. As if after doing it, we should clap for you. I will make sure that security is it not to your function. It is clear that these people are very selfish. It is very difficult to find a selfless politician now. I don't think the word selfless uh, it is going to be used similarly to any politician right now. With what we are saying, not even the interest of the country. That is to show you that all those people want and all they are after is for let them go and secure the future and lives of their family members. I mean, what kind of a statement is this? Is this not the height of it? 
he defected. And it's, oh my God. No, it is, <laughs> I do not even know what to say because this kind of one now, it has, I'm lost, I'm lost of words. I'm lost of words to, to use. If you want to secure, I keep quoting because, you know, that it, it tells a lot about these people. And yes, when these people, when people say these things about them, they become angry. They become angry. Even the ones in the present administration now will say you are bullying them. They will say that uh, this particular, uh, um, the people keep saying all things, that keep attacking them. I'm saying, uh -uh. it is not attack. Stating the obvious should not be seen as attack. You say you went to join this particular political party. It is going to house your ambitions to become whatever you want to be in the future. Now, tell me, as you are joining it to better your life and your family member's life, now you will still come out tomorrow to run for an office, Abi. Ah, God. It is well with our soul, Nigerians. It is well. It is really, really well. It is well, oh. <laughs> Even inside the world, it is well. I mean, these people, they keep showing us that they are very, very not, not eligible. Sincerely. Some of them keep showing that they are very, very not eligible. You do not trust whatever they say because it is trusting what they say is like, hey, you are putting yourself, you want to fall from up and you're not putting foam, you're putting leaf or you're saying somebody should catch you and the person will just shift to the side while you break your back. It is, it is, it is very, very, I mean, shameful and disgraceful. And the problem is if you say these things about these people now, they'll start getting angry, saying you are saying this against them and the press is trying to bully them and you know people are exaggerating things. Is this one exaggeration? This one is coming from the horse's mouth. You are hearing it from his mouth. This is what he's saying. Securing the future. Wow. That means the whole of the country should turn to politicians. Or what do you think, Nigerians? My fellow people of Nigerians, what do you think? Let us join this thing now so that we are going to, you know, we are going to secure the future and lives of our, nu our nuclear and extended families as according to this particular politician here. I mean, is this not disgraceful and shameful? That means, look, I keep saying, if Nigerians want to get a wonderful leader, whether in the person that will occupy the state's government or the federal or the local, certain, benef I mean, certain benefits are to be taken away from the office. You see the office criteria first of all must be made. That one is certain. Secondly, there is no immunity while you are even internal. If you like, be the president of the country, they strip away the, the, the immunity. If you commit a crime, you are not above the law. Why you are in your office, you are dragged out of office to face a crime immediately. They are not even going to wait until you come out. If such things are not done, I tell you, Nigerians will keep recycling those that are not worthy and eligible. That is just it. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.